These are four things narcissists actually care about. Highly narcissistic individuals often hold a superiority complex. For whatever reason, they convince themselves that they deserve nothing but the best. It's unbelievable how conceited they are, thinking that everyone else exists solely to satisfy their needs. As you get to know them better, they reveal more and more of their own egocentricity. In other words, you should give as much as they take, or even more, and they'd still not be satisfied. They may continue to act superior even after you've had enough of them, have the resources to leave, or have seen through their lies and infidelity. And how your departure will affect them after all their spin, knowing that the supply, you, has finally escaped, they'd still worry mostly about themselves. It's easy to assume that narcissists don't care, but you'd be incorrect. Right? Here we enter the area of what actually interests them. In this video, I'll explain exactly what they are. For the simple reason that if you can speak their language and understand their priorities, you will be able to communicate with them more effectively and win their trust and cooperation while trying to have a conversation with them. If you want to deal with them, you need to know this information first. To begin, I appreciate your continued support of my channel. You can also join us at this time if you're just now visiting the channel. Please add this channel to your list of subscriptions. Hit that notification bell. My intention is to help you alter that pattern, so that you don't have to spend all your time defending yourself, I'll show you how to take the initiative while dealing with narcissists. I hope you leave this video believing that narcissists have valid concerns and priorities. Here are the four things that a narcissist values the most. Just one more thing, I'll let you in on the narcissist's darkest secret. We're going to go from being in fourth place to first. Narcissists don't care about anyone else but themselves, and they all want their own needs met. Motivating factors include anything that makes them feel better about themselves. Hence, they're after the few things everyone needs. Food, lifeblood, oxygen, and of course money. They appear to be focused solely on reaching that one target. It's become all the rage among this group that they need that external object to make them feel good about themselves. A void, like a black hole, exists within them, and they want you to fill it for them. There is a gaping emptiness, and they are looking for a target to help them fill it. Even though they are still hungry, in many ways, this leaves you feeling absolutely drained. On the other hand, there are many sources of narcissistic supply to choose from. Alright? In this piece, I hope to talk about just that. Let's stop wasting time and get to the meat of the matter. 1. They care only for themselves. You never know how they feel about you, it might be as a business partner, a family member, or anything else. Ultimately though, it's almost like dealing with someone who is in continual survival mode, or with someone who wants to care about you but can't, because all they can think about is their own suffering or their own thing that's going on. Simply put, they are unable to do so at this time. Because of this, they simply cannot conjure any empathy at the moment. They are preoccupied primarily with themselves. Secondly, their tangible belongings, which signify your significance to them. You remain important to them so long you're still providing value to them. You remind them of a jar on a shelf, and they want to use whatever they can get from you. They will only pick the bones from the carcass or the flesh from the bones if there isn't much left to use, and otherwise, they will move on to a more desired target. As for number two, it's their stuff and possessions, and you know what? Nobody is allowed to mess with their stuff and act like they have no idea what they're doing. What I mean is that they hoard things in their attics, and they want to keep everything for themselves. This group is a bunch of hoarders. They worry about the lack of resources a great deal, to put it frankly. To them, resources are limited, so they will have to take all while they still can. Certainly not the attitude of plenty. For the third thing, they value authority positions highly. They rule over an entire kingdom's worth of territory. To emphasize the exceedingly wealthy ones, they establish vast kingdoms and defend them fiercely, but they rarely venture beyond their borders because they are content where they have established their lives and, well, you know. Many of them strive so diligently to establish and keep up their monarchies because they wish to exercise control over what they have created. Thus, by exercising dominion over others and amassing power, they degrade people. Narcissists are aiming for a heated debate. 
This is characteristic of how they normally act. As a result, they have a low opinion of people. They only care about how to maintain control over their position of authority. 4. Their image and reputation. The narcissist cares deeply about their image and would do anything to protect it. That is the pinnacle of importance to them. What matters most to a narcissist is how they come across to their most prized admirers, the rest of the world, and themselves. They are very concerned with their appearance. If they surround themselves with powerful people, drive fancy cars, and work for a prestigious corporation, they have made it in life. For a narcissist, these things are fundamental to his or her image in the world. This is pretty much what I can say in today's video. So, have you enjoyed this video? Leave a comment with your ideas, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel if you find this video informative. Please subscribe and activate the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future releases. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.